Um, all praise is glory and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahawah Kakwadash, which is all praises to the Most High. His name is Yahweh. His son name is Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> and Wahawah means Holy Spirit in the Hebrew tongue. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. Honorable mentions to the brothers prophesying in truth. Peace to the elect. Um, this says, uh, I was watching a video by the elder Yashwamba in GMS Dallas. It says, uh, the understanding of the word is a form of spiritual power, which is true. But uh, the point I want to address is uh, when you watch the video, he goes to the videos of uh, the group uh, HODC, Israelite group HODC. And um, that video says, it says, HODC says we have to physically return to Israel to be, to be received by Yahweh. And that is a, a point that I want to address. Uh, so uh, I'll start off with Isaiah 42 and 22. Okay. Uh, let me get it real quick. Isaiah 42 and 22 said, But this is a people robbed and spoiled, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites. They are all of them snared in holes, traps, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for prey, and none delivereth, for spoil, and none said restore. So our people is, you know, we under the curses of Deuteronomy 28. All right, it's traps everywhere. Even when it looked like it's a, a a good idea, it's a trap. Whether it be welfare, okay, food stamps, uh, government aid, whatever, we 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 in traps. All right, and and the majority of us is in prisons, man. All right, because when you go into it, uh, a lot of these uh, first of all, prisons is privately owned, for the most part, and most of those those prison houses have just uh, changed over to plan chase plantation because I've been to prison and I've been to jail and uh it's, it's, it's just slavery you forced to work you have to work and uh since cents, cents on the dollar all right but it's, it's some people in jail in prison who might who might believe in you how shy who might believe in you how about shim you how shy now how the hell are they supposed to get to uh to is to Israel all right. Uh, then the scriptures, then Yahweh Shai say, uh, uh, they shall deliver you up to the councils and the judges and throw you into prison. Be faithful unto death. <laughs> Where's the scripture that says you have to, uh, you you must return to Israel. I've read a scripture that said, face the east, uh, spread thy hands and face the east. Meaning, you know, when you when you lift up your prayer, pray in the direction of Israel. But I've never read a scripture that said return unto Israel. And the Bible says prove all things. So you should have had a flurry of scriptures to back up what you had to say in that video. All right. So this is Nahum three. Uh, Nahum three and one. It says, woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies. America. A.K.A. Babylon, all full of lies and robbery. They lie and steal. The prey departed not. We just read who are the prey. The, the, uh, in Isaiah 42, and it said departed not. So what did depart mean? Remove. To remove. To recede, to withdraw. To depart, to go back. To take away. So the scripture says we departed not, so we don't go back to Israel. So who we going to listen to? You or is we going to listen to the scriptures, man? <laughs> so this is Exodus uh, 23 and 22. It says, Exodus 23 and 22. It says, uh, but if thou, uh, no, that's the wrong one. Oh, 23 and 32. It says, thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. Now, that's talking about the heathen, man. So you think you just going to go over to Israel and just get you out of plot of land and live? No, you got to make agreements uh, uh, with those people. You might have to get some type of form of citizenship. 
last I heard, uh, to, to go over to Israel, uh, so-called Negroes was trying to go over there and claim that they was Israelites to be accepted as citizens. You had to serve in their military for two years. All right. So you causing people to, to stumble at the law, man, by preaching that. OK, <laughs> we have to go in Israel and become citizens. And, all right. So what about hold on? What about this scripture? See, the Lord does things in his own time, man. You can't, you can't uh, force the Lord hand. Oh, I'm a Lord. I'm a, uh, the Lord, he got to come back to live. Now we moved to Israel. This is uh, Salakia. Uh, what is it? This is uh, Deuteronomy 33 and 29. No, 30, uh, 33 and 28. No, Salakia. This is Deuteronomy 33, and I'll start at 27. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, destroy them. So our enemies got to be thrusted out from before us, man. We can't be, we can't be uh, coexisting in Israel with the, with, the, with, the, uh, with the fake Jews, the people calling themselves Jews and are not. Verse 28, Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon the land of corn and wine. Also, his heaven shall drop down dew. All right, man. That's not dwelling in safety alone. Okay. Anyway, it's dropped uh, st still in the book of Deuteronomy. Go to uh, 17. Deuteronomy 17, 15. It says, thou shalt in any wise, no, 14. It says, when thou art coming to the land which Yahweh thy power giveth thee, <coughs> uh, Lord, all caps is the most high's name, and shall possess it, the land of Israel, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom Yahweh thy power shall choose, one from among thy brethren. Shall thy set king over thee? Thou mayest not set a strange over thee, which is not thy brother. So you don't don't tell me you finna go over there and move to Israel, and you gonna follow the statutes and laws and commandments, uh, outside of the laws of uh the prime minister Israel, man. In some way, or some way, shape, or form, you are gonna have to acknowledge uh their lordship over you, man. And if they still got that going on where, where you must serve two years in their army, well, then that's one of those ways, man. Oh, you want to be a citizen? Oh, you got to serve two years in, this, in our army. Yeah, man. Uh, but anyway, here goes, uh, I'm going to close, but there's some scriptures that came to my head about, uh, because a uh, personal testimony, when I first found out I was Israelite, I was a, uh, the first Israelite camp I came across was GOCC a couple years ago, maybe three or four years ago. And uh, that was something they used to teach that you have to go to Israel. And I'm like, I used to, I was so like, I was so like distraught in my spirit because I'm like, I'm a, I'm a felon. I'm out here, you know, I'm out here messed up, broke. How, do, how I'm supposed to get a passport and however many thousands of dollars I'm going to need. I'm like, how am I supposed to do that? You know, you seeing the signs, seeing that, you know, America uh, on its way out the door. And I used to be so distressed. And I was, you know, I didn't really know how to uh, question that because, you know, that was, you know, I'm like, I don't know anything. He told me. He taught me that I was Israelite. So I'm not going to be bucking up against him. But I'm like, my spirit couldn't register that. It don't make any sense, man. We have to go back to Israel. First of all, it's hard to even go to Florida for for a so-called uh, Negro, Latino, Native American. It's hard to have enough money to go on a vacation to New York. Hell, I stay in, um, I'm from, um, I stay about 30, 40, I'm from like 30, 45 minutes from Chicago. It's hard to go there. $20 for parking, uh, 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 all these sales tax, but, but, but let alone I got to go to Israel and I got to have 
I gotta have enough money to get the, and I gotta have enough money to sustain myself until I find some type of way to take care of myself. There, no man. The, the scripture says, uh, uh, the Lord is a power of knowledge, man. Anyway, this is uh, cause that ain't knowledge right there. This is Judges five and eleven. It says, uh, they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water. All right, so deliver, we're going to be saved from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, man. And what is, what is the place of drawing water? When you read, uh, I believe, what is that? Joshua, the Gibeonites, man. He made them uh, draws of water and hewers of wood. That represents servitude, man. We, we were slavery over here in America. We, we, were, we were in slavery in America, and we still are slaves, just not to the, 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 that degree we were. It's not as hardcore, okay? There shall they rehearse the righteous acts. It said there, not in Israel. It said there. We were we rehearsing the righteous acts here. The righteous acts is what the Lord wants us to do according to the scriptures. The righteous acts of the Lord. Even, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates, Okay? Don't get all bugged out because it said the village. See, it said, it said, uh, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. It's talking about the people, man. These Israelites see us out here prophesying, teaching the word of the Lord. We are people before we are placed, man. That's why the, 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 your, the, the land where you live is named after you because it's about you, okay. The scripture said the kingdom of heaven is within you. So the Israelites live in Israel. All right. The land is determined by the people. All right. So uh, let's get uh, Jeremiah 27 and 22. Jeremiah 27 verse 22. Last verse. It says... Uh, It says, uh, they shall be carried to Babylon and there shall they be until the day that I visit them to the Lord visit. Till he come back, till Yahweh Shai come back, said Yahweh. Then I will bring them up and restore them to this place. Okay. <laughs> Let's get, uh. Micah, uh, I'll end it with this. Micah 4 and 10. It says, Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. Babylon is America. All right, it's spiritual. There shalt thou be delivered. Okay? There Yahweh shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. So it said there. It said there in Babylon. It didn't say you had to go to Israel. All right. And from and from the the the, the segments that I have watched, I haven't even uh, seen. I haven't even seen in that video. I haven't even seen those guys attempt to uh, interpret a scripture to back up what they were saying. Okay. So you know, for anybody uh, new, to, you know, new to the understanding of uh, being an Israelite, and then people get to teach, you know, the, the the teachings starting to get deeper. From, okay, you Israelite, you know, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American. Then you know, it gets uh, it gets more intricate and more details when you you know you learn further. When when you make sure you whoever you listening to, you make sure they get the scriptures to back up what they say. All right, because the the scripture in Peter says. Uh, if any man speak, let him speak with the oracles of the Most High. So if you got something to say, and especially if you're a man of the Lord, well then it's, this, this Bible should be backing you up. And Thessalonians says, prove all things as well. So with that, all praise to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Shalom.